It's Sir Rich Radio 96.7 The Beat is the voice of DJ Screen right here. Moran is here. And mm-hmm. Moran. What's up, bro? We have the coolest person in the world Facts. on Hood Rich Radio today. Yes. Let's give a round of applause for Janet Jackson. Yes, yes she's here, people. A legend. It's true. She is here. I, I'm well, well, no, I'm not well. I have a little bit of a sinus infection, but I'm okay. Thank uh, you hey. for coming to Hood Rich Radio with a sinus infection. Hey. We will never forget this. <laughs> never, ever, ever. We will never forget this. Welcome no pro- to Atlanta, first off. Thank you. And we want to definitely congratulate you on being honored at the B. BMI Awards yesterday evening. Um, mm. we, we know that you won a, a, a lot of awards, but how, how does this one differ and how does it mm. feel? It will, you know, it's from your peers. It's for your songwriting. It's an icon award. It's it's special. And mm-hmm. the tribute, mm-hmm. my goodness, mm. I've never had a tribute like that. Wow. wow. Was, and you had a lot of tributes. It was really, really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk to us about songwriting. Um, how, 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 how important do you think it is as an artist to, you know, be involved in writing your own songs or, or writing songs in general? Because a lot of artists are just strictly performers and they don't write their, their own music. Well, if you're strictly a performer, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But for me personally, I, you know, it's about my life, life experiences, what's going on in my life, what's in my heart, what mm-hmm. I'm feeling. Uh, or, or what I've experienced through a friend, mm-hmm. um, and to to express that in in my music, and and when you create the melody, and creating the lyrics, and I, I think it's, you know, it could still be sung with feeling, but still it's conveyed a little bit differently when it's coming from you. I mm-hmm. think mm-hmm. That, that's that's what I think, but um, it's important for me. Mm. Dope, dope. So when it comes to your actual art, you've always been somebody who was always out to reinvent yourself. Like you, I feel like you've never done anything twice. So how do you stay well-rounded with everything? Well-rounded? Yeah, because like, like, like as far as what you're making, because you always, like whatever you did in the 90s, you didn't do that in the 2000s and today. Do you know, I it, for me, it, it was getting bored back in the 90s, just wanting to do something different. Mm-hmm. And really out of boredom. Out of boredom. Yeah. And I used to do that when I was a kid. Come home with blue hair and pink hair. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> my, husband, oh, my father looked at me one day and he said, come here. And I said, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. But he was there was something else he wanted me for. And I thought, ooh. Mm-hmm. He never even mentioned my hair. But it was always just, you know, just out of uh, uh, boredom. But then as I got older, it's just really doing things that I hadn't done before, but yet still true to myself, Mm -hmm. true to my heart. And I think that's important, staying true to you through it all. Dope. Well, as a fan, I could say you've definitely done that. So, Thank you. You're welcome. What are some of your keys to physical longevity and as well as, like, longevity as as an artist? Like, what 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 are some of the things that you don't mind sharing with the people that you as an artist do to stay relevant and that you do to just continue to look physically amazing? Well, thank you for that. Yeah, I mean, we all know it. Give it to Janet Jackson. She's so humble, y'all. Oh. No, thank you for that, really. Um, I don't know about the physical part. Okay. Um, She's going to downplay it. All right, no, it's all good. No, it's honestly, be, uh, you know, I, I'm just as human as the next person. You just Everyone had a kid, is, Janet. Yes. Well, yeah. I, yeah, most a, people, right. What? You, you just kept it moving. You don't, you don't perform like you just had a kid, right? <laughs> Like but, you're performing but, like it's almost who, like still revelation. Okay, but who's to say <laughs> who's to say what you're supposed to perform like after having a child? True. Who's to say that this is what it's supposed to be just because that's what most people are. Right. So if someone comes along and shows that okay, well there's something different to be done, mm. then others will follow suit and there will be someone else that comes along and say, Okay, well they did that. Well, this is what I feel comfortable doing, and so on and so forth. So true word spoken. Okay. And about that diet. What diet? The diet that you use for your physical oh longevity. Gosh, What's part of your diet? Some Just let us into a little bit of your diet. What's the cheat code? You guys, it's all over the place, especially <laughs> as of recently. It's it's horrible. Does Janet eats potato chips. Does Janet Jackson eat hot Cheetos? Hot Cheetos. No. <laughs> okay, that means no. <laughs> what are, I don't even know what hot, hot Cheetos, Cheetos is like the are. hood thing. You really don't know what hot Cheetos are? No. They're like Cheetos, but they have hot sauce on them. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just brought you some. Next oh, time we'll bring you some. Uh, yes, yes. You're in Atlanta. You got to get some before you leave. I bet you that's good. That's it is? Like, They're amazing. It's like popcorn with hot sauce. There you go. Mm-hmm. So you're familiar with that? 
Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Popcorn with jalapenos. That's lit. Yeah. That's lit. So, so how much how much hip hop does do you listen to? You know what? Since I've had my son, I haven't been listening to a a, a lot of music. Not the way that I used to. Okay. Except obviously, I still listen to music, but right. Not the way that I used to, because I'm so busy with him. And it's so funny, because I said I have to put more music into both of our lives, and mm. he's starting to dance now. So. Mm. Dope. Okay. So, um, are there any hip-hop like artists that have influenced you, like that you want to mention? Like, just over the career, we know you've done several collaborations, but do you want to mention any hip-hop artists that yeah, are kind of... I mean, there are, there are a lot. I'm a huge fan, obviously, of, of my friends, uh, Missy and... and mm-hmm. And I, I love uh, I love uh, Tip Tribe Called Quest. Okay, okay. I'm huge fans of theirs. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? There are a few. I I love uh, J Cole. Mm-hmm. I think he's incredible. Mm-hmm. I love listening to 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 how he writes. Mm-hmm. Lyrically, I think it's just wonderful. Mm-hmm. Um, I love uh, uh, Kendrick Lamar. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's okay. I first learned of him watching this late. I was up really late one night, and he was on this show. It was before he had made it, and they like to introduce what they feel is going to be an up and coming artist. Mm-hmm. And he was on there, and I said, "Oh, this kid is is pretty cool." And sh- surely enough, like three weeks later, I get this this text. There's this this new artist, and he wrote this song. Mm-hmm. And he wants to. Incorporate it, your song, and please give a listen. We hope you. Yeah, Poetic I said I justice. know who this is. Right, I, said, I know this kid, mm-hmm. and I, I think it's wonderful. We finally met and mm-hmm. went to his concert. I love his work as well. So getting that song so, clear, did it help that before they reached out that you knew who he was? Because you probably get a lot of requests for people to sample and, and reuse your music. N- no, it doesn't. It does as long as I feel that it's 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 uh, it's done tastefully mm-hmm. and done well mm. and i like the music yeah so it, it it i don't mind either way but i was i it was nice to know that as much as i enjoyed him he obviously enjoyed uh, uh, uh what i've created enough to put it in a song that he had written absolutely Great. now with your humble spirit right we're in an industry where a lot of times they say if if you're not arrogant if you're not aggressive if you don't act a certain way then you're not going to get to where you should be. What What are your thoughts on, on a comment like that? I don't think you have to be. It, it, you know, it's it's really God's plan. Mm. So aggressive, humble, arrogant. I I don't. I've never liked arrogance, mm. Mm. and that was not something my parents were down for. Right. So it's God's. It's up to God what's going to happen. Mm. Really, is the way that I see it, and, and that that's a turnoff for me mm. personally. Mm-hmm. And how has motherhood changed Janet Jackson? What are some of the main main changes that you can cite? Well, he's my first. Okay. And foremost, that that, that comes first. Mm-hmm. Then everything else falls behind that. Mm-hmm. Um, I work a lot less. Are you one of those FaceTime, like always FaceTiming your kid, like no. always calling back no. when you have to travel? No. No? No, he travels with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. I was going to bring him here this You should morning. have. That would have been nice. should I, have. Yeah, I was going to, but uh, <laughs> he was still asleep. Okay. It's got to get that rest. Yeah. That's real. Got to get that rest. So how does it make you feel knowing that people still embrace you as a legend? Because, you know, like you said, Kendrick has sampled you. Kei made remixes of you. So how does it make you feel personally to know that people still rock with Janet? It, it, it feels great. I, I'm Like I, like I said, I, I'm really thankful to God because mm. it didn't have to be this way. And he made it all possible as well as the fans. So I, it, it it's really nice to know that people do embrace me in the way that they have. Okay, absolutely. Finally, we got to talk about your new record with Daddy Yankee. It's in the Billboard Hot 100. You've done it again. Talk to us a little bit about the creation process <laughs> and what this means. Is there an EP coming, an album? Is there a big tour coming? Like, what can we expect from Janet? <laughs> well, I'm still not finished with the State of the World Tour. Okay. Um, um a, a, a project of some sort. Yes, there will be. Okay. Um. Some of your sleeve, Jenna. You're not telling well, us. Well, no. I just, you know, everyone says, "Was this an album?" Is it? I, you, you know, I, st- still in the studio. It's work in progress, and still haven't really decided decided on exactly what it will be. Mm-hmm. But there's mu- music to come. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we can look forward yeah, to Janet Jackson music. That's lit. That's music. lit. And the Daddy Yankee Janet song made for now. Talk to us about that. 
What do you want to know? Like, how, how long ago did you create it? Why did you go this direction? That's... You went up tempo instead of down tempo? <coughs> I recorded it about a year ago. Oh, okay. The song I recorded a while ago. We had completed it. And, mm-hmm. uh, produced with Harmony and Jimmy and Terry, myself producing mm-hmm. the vocals. And, and uh, thought it would be nice to, to, to have someone uh, featured on the song. And we're throwing around some names. And Daddy told me he had heard the song, mm-hmm. and he had to be a part of it. Mm. So that's how it, it happened. And he uh, did his thing on it, and and it just took it to uh, made it that much sweeter. Right. It was right. it, it turned out sweet to begin with. And the snippet video you just put out is is that part of the full video? The video you put out made for now. Yes. Yes. Uh, Wait, what snippet video? There was a video where you reenacted uh, Remember the Time. Oh, oh. Or was that just something no, separate? No, that's not a reenactment of Remember the Time. It's just because of uh, Mate Fresnel has that uh, Afro-Cuban, Nigerian Got you. feel to it. Got you. And we we play on that in the video. Mm. Uh, uh, so Quay wanted to do something related to that. So everyone's saying, oh, it's... She's paying homage to, to Mike, and it came out on his birthday. Right. But it was just a take from the, the whole video. Okay. Wow. Absolutely. Cool. That's what's up. Well, we appreciate you coming to Hood Rich Radio. We appreciate everything you've done for our culture. Yes, ma'am. We Thank salute you. you. We hope you get the yes, feeling ma'am. better and enjoy Atlanta. Thank and get you, you some hot Cheetos yes, while you're here. Get some hot Cheetos. Cheetos. Get some hot Cheetos. Get some hot Cheetos. It'll clear all, all that up. Right? It will. I, I guarantee you it'll make you feel so much better. You... Thank you guys for having me. And it's it's really nice to be here. It's You know, it's it's... Pull them away from home. Yes. Being here. We Let's love see. you in Atlanta. Absolutely. I, I, I love you guys. And you're welcome anytime. And at Hood Rich Radio, anytime. 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 <laughs> 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 All right, it's Janet Jackson on 96, 7 to B. Keep us locked. Don't change the station. It's Hood Rich Radio. You better not change the station.